What are the differences between Ozempic, Wegovy versus compounded semaglutide? Hello, this is Dr. J. Park for MedicalWeightLossTraining.com. We will go over some of the warnings around compounded semaglutide from the FDA and other regulatory bodies. Semaglutide is a glucagon lipeptide 1 receptor agonist developed initially for type 2 diabetes that has demonstrated significant weight loss effects in clinical trials. This led to its FDA approval for chronic weight loss management in patients with obesity or overweight with at least one weight-related comorbidity. Compounding pharmacies create customized medications by altering, combining, or mixing active pharmaceutical ingredients to cater to specific patient needs, such as creating formulations that are free of allergens, altering dosage forms, or combining multiple medication into a single dose. What is off-label use of medications? Off-label use refers to the prescription of an FDA-approved medication for a purpose, dosage, or population that is not explicitly approved by the FDA. Physicians prescribe medications off-label based on their professional judgment as long as they believe it is in the best interest of the patient. FDA's role in compounding and off-label use. Compounding pharmacies are subject to FDA regulations to ensure they meet specific standards for safety and efficacy. However, the FDA does not regulate the practice of medicine and do not oversee the off-label use of medications. The decision to prescribe a medicine off-label is at the physician's discretion based on medical judgment, scientific evidence, and the patient's best interest. Balancing Benefits and Risks there are potential risks associated with these compounding of medication, such as varying quality, potency, and purity of compounded medications, or lack of substantial evidence supporting off-label use. Physicians should carefully weigh the benefits and the risk of using compounded medication while adhering to regulatory guidelines and professional standards. The safety and efficacy of compounded semaglutide does not go through rigorous oversight like the FDA-approved semaglutide formulations such as Ozempic and Wegovy. Compounded semaglutide vary in quality, potency, and purity, which can lead to suboptimal treatment outcomes or adverse events. Finally, many of the compound pharmacies are not transparent about how they are sourcing the semaglutide. Novo Nordisk, the manufacturer of Ozempic and Wegovy, said that it does not provide semaglutide to these compounded pharmacies. Industry insiders speculate that compound pharmacists could be giving patients semaglutide sodium, a cheaper and modified version that is intended for research use only. Compounding pharmacies could also be purchasing high doses of semaglutide from wholesalers and then separating it into smaller dosages or mixing it with other drug ingredients. Considering the potential risks associated with compounded semaglutide, physicians should prioritize prescribing FDA-approved semaglutide. Adhering to FDA guidelines and best practices, physicians can optimize care while minimizing potential risks to patients and legal implications related to compounded semaglutide. Currently, many states are banning the use of compounded semaglutide. Some state boards of pharmacies have stated a similar statement below. Pharmacies should also be aware that pharmaceutical manufacturers may initiate legal proceedings against prescribers and compounders to combat illegal semaglutide drug product compounding. The FDA has stated the following, We are aware that in some cases compounders may be using salt forms of semaglutide, including semaglutide sodium and semaglutide acetate. We are not aware of any basis for compounding a drug using these semaglutide salts that would meet federal law requirements that limit the type of an active ingredient that can be used in compounding. Semaglutide in clinical practice. 
Currently, there are two specific types of semaglutide medical weight loss treatment practices. First type uses the FDA-approved Wegovy for medical weight loss for obese patients. These practices actually use semaglutide as per the on-label FDA indication. Depending on the insurance, the cost of the drug is discounted or covered as well as the medical visit. Prior authorization is needed if the patient meets the FDA approval indication. If you have problems with prior authorizations, a local specialty pharmacy may be able to help you. The coverage amount varies from states and insurance companies from 50% to 80%. Currently, Novo Nordisk is offering Wegovy savings card with a discount of $500 if the patient does not use insurance, which makes the final cost around $800. Laboratory testing and imaging studies are ordered as needed. The appropriate CPT code is used and billed accordingly. Currently, the sample dosage costs are as followed from GoodRx. Ozempic is $884.82 per single patient use pen. Wigovi is $1,333.91 per carton which contains th four pre-filled single-dose pens. The best practices for prescribing FDA-approved semaglutide would be to follow the clinical trial protocol. You can read the Step 1 clinical trial protocol in detail and study the flowchart from their page 10 here. Second type uses a non-FDA-approved semaglutide that has been compounded with another drug or supplement by a compound pharmacy. FAQ about compounded semaglutide. Where do I buy compound semaglutide? Various compound pharmacies offer and ship to various states. These compound pharmacies include the following. Thank you for listening and watching our semaglutide medical weight loss training for clinicians. If you would like to learn about the semaglutide treatment protocol implementation, then go to medicalweightlosstraining.com and sign up for the online medical weight loss training course. This is Dr. J. Park. Thank you very much.